Yo, what's going on everybody, this is Mystical. Today I am bringing you hopefully a quick video going over, you know, which trees I like. The hero talent between the Conduit of the Celestials and the Master of Harmony for Mistweaver. Kind of the pros or like what I like about each and what I think kind of needs being worked on. But with that said, let's jump right into the video. Starting off with Conduit of the Celestials, I think Conduit of the Celestials is absolutely the better of the two trees, whether you're misweaving or fist weaving or doing a combination of both. I think it is a really, really good tree. I love Celestial Conduit. I love that incorporates all of your Celestials in one cooldown. And each Celestial has one little unique thing about it. I love that. I think it's really, really cool. The damage is decent in PvP. By the way, this is mostly coming from a PvP point of view. I have not. I think the Mythic Plus testing is sometimes soon but i will not be there for the myth quest testing so i will not be there but from pvp i it does decent damage right it does about 400k damage when you use it once and then also you have the passive from the courage of the white tiger which is great that you proc this from both your rising sun kick and vivify so it's not just a fist weaving tree like i initially thought i thought man you know it's mostly just me geared towards Fist Weaver, but it's really not. It's really good for casting. You can change some talents around so that you don't need to spec into the teaching of the monastery. You can just go into more healing. This buffs your Envelope Mist and Vivify healing, which is really good because we're dro they're dropping Cloud of Focus from our tree. And you can get rid of the August Dynasty, which increases the healing and Vivify. I tested it as Mist, cast a Mist Weaver with Jade Fire Stomp. It's not good. So I just play Inner Compass and get extra stats pretty much. I mean, that's... Pretty much all there is to it but just this tree just feels so good it just feels fluid it feels so good it feels like i'm healing i'm getting I, you know i got some damage which again is insane you know cast and weaver isn't known for having the most damage but i mean look at this i do 551k damage just by pressing vivify and then this proc will give me an, a shield when i use my envelop mist and it, it's so it just feels good having the little shield from the from the proc from Zhuen. So I really like this tree a lot. I think it's hands down the better of the two trees. The one thing I don't like about it is that this Celestial Conduit does break crowd control. So if you're playing a setup comp or if you just in cap something, you're gonna break CC, you're gonna break fears, you're gonna break polys, you're gonna break all the CC, your own in caps, you're just gonna break it all, which is really unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm kind of hoping that they would kind of fix that. The other downside to this ability is that you can CC it. So if you do see a monk kind of pressing it, you can crowd control it and cut the duration short, which is a little unfortunate. One other thing I do want to note is I hate that you're kind of forced into playing Shailun's Gift to get value out of Heart of the Jade Serpent. I get it, when you use Conduit of the Celestials, you'll automatically proc a Yulon, which is nice, right? And you can get a Yulon every minute and a half, which is great, but I hate that you're forced to spec into a Shaylin's Gift to take advantage of it outside of that. That's just another downside I found. I wish it was some kind of, I don't know, differently. I don't know how other way that you, this could be reworked, but that's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, you know, obviously in PVE, I don't think that's going to have any impact, right? You're just Shailun's gifting as much as you can. PVP, it kind of sucks because it's you're committing three talents right here when you really want talents over here when you're casting as a Mistweaver. So, yeah, I would say those are probably the three downsides I found for this tree. A little bit unfortunate, but besides that, this tree is, is beautiful. I don't know where to begin for Master of Harmony. I just don't like it that much. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it, which sucks because it is caster, you know, focus. It's really nice. Gives you some extra healing from your store vitality. They give it a new icon, which is cool. But like, I thought having two charges of Thunder Focus T would be nice. You get to store some vitality from it and your damage. The issue is, I feel like on a, as a cast and Mystery in PvP, you don't have the globals to build up this healing and do this damage from like the balanced strategy. You just don't, you, I mean, it, it's just how it is. I mean, sure you can get some healing in when you can, build up the stacks as much as you can, but when people are dying, you're not gonna be like, oh yeah, five stacks of balanced strategy, let me crackling Jade Lightning, or like going for a rising sun kick, right? Let me go in right now, let me start building my stacks. And then if you want a big crackle, you got a tiger palm like five times. No, it's just not gonna, it's just not realistic. Yeah, this talent tree I thought would be fantastic, but she wave and she burst. It's making you get increased healing for, or, you know, storing more from the your vitality is okay, but it's just passive and it's not really, it's not healing is the issue, I guess. These talents, even the extra healing you get from Purified Spirit, which is decent, it just doesn't feel great. Coalescence, I just, it's okay. For example, this is the healing from the other tree where you can see your Celestial Conduit actually do about, what, 9% of my healing, which is amazing. And I just feel like the healing you do from the Aspect of the Harmony and it's a passive, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel good. And I think they're trying to replace Cloud of Focus with this, ta with this talent and all this talents with it, but it, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. And then the, all, the other issue I found is, again, doing damage in PvP 
is super important. Uh, same in Mythic Plus, same with rating. Any damage is good damage, and this tree just offers nothing. It, it offers no damage. I mean, this you hardly 15% of the damage you do. 15% of zero is still zero. You know what I mean? So this it's just the damage is so insignificant when, with this tree that just doesn't matter. And the healing is okay, but I'd rather the healing cool down from Celestial Conduit than from the stored vitality of the aspect of the Harney passive. So overall, this tree, the, the healing is decent. Don't get me wrong, it's decent, uh, but there's no damage, right? Uh, compared to Condo of Celestials. Damage is king for PvP or PvE. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I think it's super good. Maybe this will be good in RBGs just because you're not really doing damage. So you, the healing is nice. And it just feels clunky overall. Again, the two Charge of Thunder Focus T I thought would be good. It's just not because between your two Thunder Focus Ts, you don't have enough time to really build up your aspect of the harmony. And it just feels awful when you use your second one, you don't have a lot. And then the extra healing from Coalescence and even the extra healing from Path of Resurgence, it's just not good, in my opinion. So if that if if anyone has played around with Master of Harmony or Conor of the Celestials on beta, please uh, feel free to let me know. I would love to know if you're making it work or if you're enjoying it, but I would say overall, hands down, Condo of the Celestials is my favorite talent tree. I love the damage. I love the healing. I love the cooldown. I love the animations. I love how it all ties in all the Celestials. I think it's perfect. So that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you're enjoying the beta. I'll see you later.